Lineworks has two modes, the line mode and the root mode. The line mode is pretty self-explanatory. It's for creating and editing our lines. And root mode is for creating and editing our roots. The roots are what allow our lines to follow the surface of our characters. They are a selection of three vertices of our character that the line points are parented to. This allows the lines to inherit the motion of the character. We can tab back and forth between the line mode and the root mode. Line mode is denoted by the blue border and root mode by the red. In root mode, we see all these white dots. These are the available anchor points that our roots can be placed on. These anchor points can be toggled on and off as shown in the last video. To manually place a new root triangle, we can control left click and choose the three vertices that will be our root. If you remember from the last video, we have an option for auto rooting. So to demonstrate that, let's delete this root and go back to the line mode. In the same way we control left click to add a root, we can use control left click to place a new line point by point. If you take a look over at our key map, you'll see that it has changed and now reflects the action that we are currently taking. It shows that we can left click to confirm the line, control click to place more points, or right click to cancel. Let's confirm this line, and when we do, you'll notice that each point of the line now has a root that it is parented to. This is the result of the auto-rooting option being turned on. It's taking the position and the normal of each point and using that to create a triangular root that is as even as possible. This is a big time saver. Instead of having to manually add every root, it automatically does it for us, and then we can use that and tweak the result if needed. Now there is a second way that we can add a line. We can hold Alt and left click and drag to draw a line on our character, and the add-on will do its best job to create curve points along this line. It works really well for simple lines, but if you go too crazy, it will add a lot of points that you do not need. Now that we know how to add our lines and roots, let's clear out our character and go over how to properly set our scene scale. I'll start by setting our scene scale back to 1, the default value. And if we add a line now, you will see that the roots it creates are way too big and the line is very far off the surface of the character. That's because this character is pretty small, only about 1.4 meters tall. So we need to lower the scene scale to match our character. We will do this by shift clicking the arrow of the scene scale and bringing it down to a value of 0.1. Now when we add the line again, you'll see that the roots are a much more appropriate size and the line is a good distance off of the surface of the character. With a proper scene scale set, let's go over the selection options that we have. 
For the most part, this is the same as default blender. You can left click to select points, and if you click away from the lines, you'll deselect everything. You can shift left click to add to your current selection. A will select all points, holding B and dragging will do a box select, and hitting L will select all linked points to the points that you already have selected. And all of this goes for the roots as well. We can hide and unhide lines with H and Alt H respectively. And we can also delete line points with X or we can use Shift X to delete entire lines. Next, we'll go over the various changes that we can make to our lines. With the G key, we can move our line points. While moving, if we hold the control key, we will snap the points back to the surface of the character. If we don't hold control key, then we are just moving according to the view. With the S key, we can change the sharpness of our line points. And with the D key, we can move the points further out or closer to the surface of the character. This will move along the normal of the point, and if we turn on display normal points, we can visualize those. With the P key, we can set the parents of our points to the roots that we have selected. And with Alt P, we can clear the parents. So I'm going to clear all of these points parents and then select them individually and shift click the roots that I want to parent them to and do that with the P key. Next we have the M key which we can use to mirror our lines, but this will only really work if we have our character in a neutral pose. If we do it here with this character that is not in a neutral pose, what will happen is the lines will get parented according to the global axes and they'll be put extremely far away. So if we wanted to mirror the lines that we have created, we would need to leave line works, go into the armature, set it to the rest pose, and then reset up the lines. The last key we have is the T key, which will allow us to change our selected lines to a different type of line. Now is a good time to go over the four different line options that we have. There are two line types and two rig types. For the two line types, you can choose between grease pencil strokes or procedural mesh strips. The two rig types we have are individual roots and rooted tips. For individual roots, this is where every point of your line has its own root as a parent. For rooted tips, only the tips of the line are parented to a root and the points in between the tips sort of follow along, they stretch in between the tip points. This will be covered in more detail and the difference is really shown in the next video. For now, let's add four lines and make it so that there's one of each type of line. And then finalize the lines by exporting them.